everyone. Welcome to the OBO Vape Show. My name is Michael. Um, I will be introducing you today to a new tank. In today's video, we will be covering the Geek Vape Obelisk C Tank. Um, in this video, I will do an unboxing, first impressions, vaping on it, and my final thought. To begin, let's do the unboxing. I did already open it, so it's not going to be perfect. Um, I did put juice in it too. This is just a re unboxing. So, what you'll get is you will get the tank itself, two Geek Vape S series coils. You will get the pre you will get a pre installed one, which is 0.25 ohms, and it's rated for 45 to 55 watts. That is a dual mesh coil. You will also get a spare coil, which is 0.15 ohms, rated for 80 to 90 watts. You will also get a spare package of O-rings for your tank. You will get a straight glass, in case you do not like the bubble glass. And like I mentioned, you will get an extra 0.15 single mesh coil. So that's basically what comes in the box. Um, let's set that aside. Right, the aesthetics of this tank are very good. Um, I do like the gunmetal gray model I have here. Um, it does come in multiple different colors. The colors available are black, gold, silver, and then mine, the gunmetal. Um, let's talk about the specifications and features of this tank. This tank features a bottom adjustable airflow with three inlet ports one two three and you can twist it either fully closed fully open or what i like to do is i like to do it about halfway that way you get a semi restricted hit but you still have that airflow for some nice cloud production um all right it does have a top fill Port. I'm not going to open it because there's juice in it, but it does have a top fill port. This part screws off and there's two holes, one to put the juice in, one for it to air out so that it could fill up. Um, it features a standard 810 drip tip with a very unique style. Um, it's very slim, a wide drip tip over a smaller and taller drip tip, which I, it's, they're good, but I like this wider and more slim drip tip. As I mentioned in the beginning, this device is running the new Geek Vape S coils, which are great in my opinion. Um, the two coils that are available are the 0.25 dual mesh and the 0.15 single mesh. I used to be a single mesh high wattage guy, but using this new 0.25 45 to 55 watt dual mesh coil, with a lower wattage has definitely changed my mind a lot. Um, you get much more flavor than a single mesh coil and you get a much smoother hit than a single mesh coil. Not to knock on single mesh coils. Single mesh coils are still great. I love them, they're awesome. After using a dual mesh coil, I do prefer the dual mesh coils. This tank definitely reminds me of the Cerberus tank from the Geek Vape lineup in the past. Um, the Cerberus tank was a great tank. I actually had one. Um, I really liked it. It was very similar to this. The drip tip was slim and wide. The It had the three inlets. It had the ridged top. It even had the bubble glass. And as a matter of fact, the Cerberus coils, which I have three extra of, fit in the new Geek Vape Obelisk C. So I think the Cerberus, or the C in Obelisk C means Cerberus. Now, let's vape on it. All right, so now we are going to vape on it. I 
as you guys can see um, it vapes very smoothly very nice cloud production very very smooth very tasteful uh, one more time nice I'm currently running Air Factory Blue Raz. Um, I will leave a link to that juice below. It's Air Factory Blue Raz Ice. Um, I will also leave a link to this tank down below, as well as my mod, which is the Geek Vape Legend. Now back to the video. All right, so now we're back to the video. Um, I did vape on it, as you guys can see, vapes very well, very good. Um, so after vaping on it there for a bit, I do have to say that the tank hits very smooth for being a high wattage tank. Um, having that dual mesh definitely makes a big difference in the flavor. Um, my final thoughts and rating on this tank, um, I think overall this was a great tank. It's not too expensive. It costs about $25.99 online. Like I said, I'll leave a link to that down below. Um, I paid $39.99 at my store, but I would rather support my local store than buy online. Um, I like supporting local businesses and making sure that they stay in business. Um, it's a great budget option for someone just starting out or who is looking for a great flavor without hurting their wallet. Um, that's it for this video. I just wanted to say thank you all for visiting the OBO Vape Show. I hope you enjoyed this content in this video. Please do comment any other products you'd like me to review in the future, and I hope you guys have a good one.